For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick. I am a Christian. I am not afraid. Fear doesn't control me, I control it. Because I understand how fear works. We are here today to talk to people about the Denounce the 1% campaign. Denounce the 1% of fanatics, of extremists, of people who want to do us and our brothers and sisters harm, regardless of where they come from, regardless of what they believe, regardless of their demographic, creed, background, bank account, regardless. If it is extremism, it is not welcome in Britain. We have no Christianity in our mainstream political parties. Read the manifestos. Reforms contract mentions Christianity once. UKIP mentions it several times. There is an element here where Bob speaks so passionately about Christians finding their voice. This muscular Christianity that people talk about. Middle class Christianity being called out. There are a number of things which have to come together. At the helm is activism. Amen. At the helm is getting off your backside and standing shoulder to shoulder with your brothers and sisters and calling out the 1% that spoil it for everyone. Call out the liberal elites. Call out the political class. There is an opportunity to galvanize behind a political war machine now that I am deputy leader of the UK independent. Party and for all of those who say no to politics, what's the point? I say you're part of the problem. I say you're part of ignorance. You're part of apathy. The time for action is now. The call to action is now. There can be a new future. Amen. There can be a bright new future. It is based on activism. It is based on having your house in order and no longer living a disordered lifestyle. It is about prayer. It is about fasting. And it is about asking our Lord and Saviour to forgive you, me, a sinner. The opportunity has presented itself. And it is an honour, as always, to speak on behalf of the Disciples of Christ movement. If you haven't already found it, follow it on X formerly known as Twitter, that is Christ at Christ Saves UK, at Christ Saves UK. Whenever we do this, you will be notified via X. We have banners, we are looking for people to gather behind the banner if they want to, and to have a picture, to send a message to apathy, to liberalism, to ignorance, and to the political elite that muscular Christianity lives in Britain. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise be Jesus. Thank you. Praise be Jesus. Right, banner. So, uh, someone help me out with organising this if you want. We'll move over there for the banners. And whoever's. Oh, my name's Nick. And what do you do? Nick as well. Oh. So do you know Turning Point UK? No. Good. Uh, that's off to a fine start. So Turning Point is a conservative, so, um, sorry, a conservative activist organisation, and I was earmarked to be deputy leader of the UK Independence Party as a result of my work standing up to radical gender theory and drag story hour UK and Marxism in our institutions, led by our, led by our fantastic CEO, a guy named Jack. Um, we're both in politics, but it's Turning Point that was the activism chapter, which got me a degree of recognition, and now I'm standing as deputy leader, or I'm deputy leader for the UK Independence Party. Nick, right. what effect do you think this protest will have? And what impact do you think it will have, especially in a wider society? On the liberal elite and the political class, none, until it then does have some effect. And that is why we must find our voice as Christians, reject liberalism, make sure that we are in church at least on Sundays, we are on our prayer game, we are on our fasting game, and we are reminding the British people and the British public at every single opportunity that this is a Christian land, and that when the far left and totalitarian propaganda, as it so loves to do, says, well, what are British values? Where is Christianity? Their attempt is to emasculate us and put us on the back foot. You simply respond, British values, Christian. Full stop. Amen. Stick that in your pipe yeah. and smoke yeah. it. Amen. What are British values? 
Christian. Yeah. Christianity. Those are our values. And stop totalitarian propaganda, a.k.a. far-left extremism. It's all part of the same satanic nonsense. Don't let them put you on the back foot. Just say, we are doing our bit to stand up to liberalism, the political elite, the um, elite class, whatever you want to call it, to um, ESG, corporations, you name it. We are standing up as one unified voice saying that the heart of British values is Christianity. We're not talking about democracy. We're not talking about law and order. British people are so polite and we love to queue and fish and chips. Those are very true potentially. But when people try to put us on the back foot saying, well, what is it to be British? You're a racist. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, we're not. No one is. This is a Christian land and those values must proceed from Christianity. It is culture first, economy second. And that is what is missing in the country. What do you think? Now we know the terrible election is coming up. What do you think the outcome will be? Lovely to meet you, my friend. No comment. What do you want to hang with it? Oh, just the banners and we'll do some... Uh, it's about Christianity. It's about, about Christianity today, but I appreciate the question. Good morning. Good morning, all. We love you all. Good morning from Speaker's Corner. We love you guys. We are happy to be here today. And we, as you can see, our brothers in Christ are standing as one body of Christ. Together, they are the body of Christ and Christ is our head. Okay? Jesus Christ is not just a prophet, but Jesus Christ is Almighty God, Amen. Everlasting Father, Amen. Prince of Peace, Hallelujah. and King of Kings, Amen. Lord of Lords, and God of the heaven and the earth. Jesus Christ is that God who literally humbled himself, who came down and took the form of a man and only for the plan of salvation, for the sins of the whole world, that whosoever believes in Jesus Christ, whosoever means Hindu, Muslim, atheist, agnostic, whosoever believes in Jesus Christ will not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus, Jesus Christ, as God in flesh, he humbled himself and he came and he paid the penalty of our sins on the cross that we can be washed by his blood and we are made righteous again with god almighty Amen. so my dear friends unless you believe in jesus christ there is no salvation those who believe in jesus christ will be saved from sin from eternal death and from resurrection jesus christ Jesus Christ has already crushed the head of the serpent, the devil, on the cross. And Jesus Christ is coming again to crush the devil once and for all. And the judgment of God is real. And Jesus Christ, as the judge of the world, the God Almighty, is coming again to judge the whole world. Muslims and anybody in the park, please believe in jesus christ while you're still alive save your soul because once you die the dead know nothing so my dear friends believe in jesus christ and save your soul your we all will face death which is physical but eternal life is only through jesus christ jesus christ said i have the power to bring my life down and I have the power to raise it up and that Jesus did it on the cross Jesus Christ he was crucified he resurrected and he's alive and he's coming again to judge the whole world once and for final time and Jesus Christ is none other but God of the heaven and the earth Amen we love you all Amen Amen God bless you Thank you, thank you. Whilst, whilst we are all here to listen and to hear and to learn from people and defend the faith professionally, which is what Bob is going to be doing, there is another angle to why we are here today. Last weekend, attempted murder once again was put on our Christian brothers and sisters. Bibles, Christian literature, desecrated up and down the country yes, yes, between yes. the world hijab transformation day and yes. islamic recruitment posts can you imagine the mainstream media headlines if they were to be attacked can you imagine what we would see on our screens right, right. but attempted murder at hyde park 
better not say too much about that. Silence. We are here to understand more about totalitarian propaganda, also known as far left extremism. Yeah. It is designed to silence you. It is designed to beat you into submission. Is it designed to emasculate you, to put you on the back foot? Once you understand something, you can control it. And that goes for your behavior. Don't be put on the back foot. What happened last weekend should be mainstream media news. The perpetrators should be made an example out of and the press should be inspiring Amen. Christians Amen. and those people that denounce the 1%. Amen. But you will not hear about it. That's why we're here. That's why these guys are here. And it's only because of Christian voices Hallelujah. and muscular Christianity. Christ is king! Christ is king! Medina. Christ is king. Who's the king of Muhammad? Christ is king. Who's the king of the Quran? Christ is king. Who's the king of Aisha? Christ is king. Who's the king of Uthman? Christ is king. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. There's only one Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now had two attempted murders in this park disgrace two attempted murders in this park that have been sandwiched between a litany week after week week in week out of intimidation no more harassment and bullying by islamist thugs it's disgusting no disgrace we have captured on camera Muslims threatening to stab people, but no arrests. We have caught on camera Muslims headbutting Christians, but no arrests. Stealing their Qurans, but no arrests. We've captured on camera Christians identifying their stolen property in the hands of Muslims, no arrests. We have identified people on camera, physically assaulting people, and no arrests. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. despite the fact that the Archbishop of Canterbury is an utter coward, and that the Archbishop of York is an utter coward, we, amen. Amen. amen, we as Christians will not be intimidated out of this park. We will claim this park for Christ. And we are going to demonstrate to everyone that in our hearts as Christians, there is courage. And why do we have courage as Christians? Here is why. Because Christ said, fear no man who can only destroy the body, but fear only God, whom having destroyed the body can cast the soul into the fires of hell. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. And that is why, brothers and sisters, we shall be, as Paul said, more than conquerors. We have already beaten all of these Dawagandists in intellectual argument. Every Dawa script 
that they have brought to us, we have destroyed. They run from us in intellectual argument. But I am not satisfied with only an intellectual victory. I want complete victory in this park. I want this park to resound with the name of Jesus, Amen. to resound with the gospel, Amen. to see souls saved Amen. here, Amen. to see people become Christians here. Amen. So from now on, when the Muslims pray in this park, Christians will pray in this park. If the police do not interrupt Muslims when they pray in the park, they should not interrupt Christians when we pray in the park. From now on, we will stand up to the Islamist bullies. We will not be intimidated by them. And what we need is Christian unity. We need Christians to unite as brothers and sisters in Christ. We are called as Christians to offer up our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. To be active soldiers on duty for Jesus. That is what we are called to be. In other words, the identity of every Christian is to be a warrior priest unto the Lord. That means, ladies and gentlemen, as warrior priests, we seek to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So I'm going to invite you to join me with a prayer for our Father. Let's do it, Bob. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, now ladies and gentlemen, I have a challenge, I have a challenge to where's where, to Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Ignore these voices of the devil, Christ is King!